So today is the second episode in a myth-busting series where I share what you actually do not need to build, grow, and scale a six-figure and beyond business online. So today is the second episode in a myth-busting series where I share what you actually do not need to build, grow, and scale a six-figure and beyond business online. And today I want to share with you something that you might not expect and something that I know you're probably hearing from other coaches that I want to completely bust through. And this is the myth that you have to do one-on-one work for at least a year or so in order to know who it is you truly serve and to get a handle on your niche and um, really uh, get familiar with your personal coaching style through one-on-one before you can um, build out a successful program. And I wanna say this is absolutely 100% not true. And the reason I say this is because you don't learn your niche first and foremost by um, through trial and error and by hopping on the phone with people um, and then trying to reverse engineer the people that you're hopping on the phone with, trying to reverse engineer that into your niche. So that's not necessarily going to give you clarity around your niche. Your niche comes from the inside out. This is something that you're being called to create something that you, who you're being called to serve is not something that you need to go do one-on-ones with a, for a, a year or so in order to figure out. Second of all, anything that you can do one-on-one, you can do in a scalable format. And in order to build a business where you still have freedom and flexibility in your business and make the kind of impact you're trying to make, scaling is the number one way you're going to be able to do that. Some people prefer one-on-one coaching and they can make a really good living doing one-on-one coaching and they charge higher ticket prices because they have to because you're trading dollars for hours and time for money. So this means that you can still hit your income goals if you want to be at a higher price point, but you're also going to be trading dollars for hours and time for money. So you're um, not going to be making as big of an impact on the, as many people's lives as possible if you go that route with that model, which for the women that resonate with me, they're here to help the masses. They're here to help wake up the masses. They're here to help heal the masses. They're here, here to help wa- uh, raise consciousness at the highest level. And they know in their hearts they are here to scale this so they can help as many people as possible. So the one-on-one model doesn't work for you if you're looking to scale. And I can say that you don't actually have to work one-on-one in order to prepare yourself to grow, build, and scale a business program online or a healing program online or a, you know, energetic up-leveling program, like whatever program you're trying to build, right? So... Most women were attracted to me. They're building either some form of a healing program or they're building some form of a business program that incorporates healing of some kind. So specifically around the topic of female uh, female empowerment. So, and female divine feminine energy embodiment. That seems to be a lot of the women that are Um, attracted to me and for obvious reasons because that is the number one thing that really has helped me up level my own life and business and without going off on a tangent there uh, because that's a whole nother video um, this is what I wanted to bring um, through today because I was on a strategy call with someone the other day and she said her coach was telling her that she had to do one-on-one for at least a year before she could ever think about building a scalable program and was actually um, really deterring her from following her inner guidance with what she was being called to create. And I struggled with this at first 
as well because I've had coaches in the past that tried to steer me in certain directions and it's not about steering. In my opinion, coaching and mentorship is about holding space and creating a container for someone to tap into their own intuitive guidance and their own soul wisdom while providing um, the tangible, you know, 3D strategies that are required in a practical 3D world to grow a business, right? You need a little bit of both. And, um, but it, but ultimately you have to tune into what you're feeling called to create. And so if you're watching this video and you feel like the only way that you can get started in the coaching world is to do one-on-one -on -one work, which ultimately feels like it's draining your time and energy, because in most cases it can, if you're not, um, really, positioning yourself in a certain way that really protects and, and your programs and your offerings in a certain way that really protects you, your boundaries regarding time and also um, charging at a rate that really supports you and hits your income goals. So if those things are not happening or you're just feeling like you're not feeling called to do one-on-one -on -one and you are looking to grow and scale, scale your impact and scale your income, I can say you absolutely do not need to do one-on-one -on -one work for any amount of time in order to be completely ready to launch, grow, scale a six figure and beyond program online. This is just a myth. And while doing one-on-one -on -one work may help you feel more confident and it may help you feel more comfortable because you're putting some big, um, you're putting maybe more of a scalable program on um, some sort of pedestal where it seems really big and out there and scary but in alt but in the ultimate truth of things it's really not it's really that's in your head and if there's if you can help someone on a one on one basis you can help people in a more scalable format and I've even done this with very intimate healing programs that cover very sensitive topics. And there is even a way to, yes, incorporate one-on-one -on -one work within a scalable model that still really leverages your time and um, honors your boundaries and helps you create the lifestyle that you want on the back end of your business. Because at the end of the day, if you're not creating the lifestyle that you want and you're not able to sustain yourself and you're not able to hit your income goals and you're not able, you're not going to be able to show up as your most abundant self and you're not going to be able to sustain yourself in your mission work. So what does that mean? It means that, well, maybe you have to stay in your nine to five a little bit longer or you have to, your hustle, you know, your side hustle remains a side hustle for a little bit longer. And my goal is to make that not your reality anymore if that is not what you want. So if you don't want to be stuck in the nine to five and you don't want to keep your side hustle a side hustle, then you need to be able to sustain yourself in a way that honors you and maintains your lifestyle goals and your healthy work-life balance and your freedom-based lifestyle. And the best way to do that is to scale. So I just wanted to throw that out there because it is absolutely not true that you have to do one-on-one. -on -one. I am a example of that and I have clients that are examples of that that have launched their coaching programs and have full paid in full clients into their programs and they have not been doing one-on-one -on -one work. So you don't have to, but you do have to have confidence in yourself. You do have to own your gift and you do have to own the value that you bring to the table and you do have to take the idea of building a scalable program uh, off the pedestal and not make it seem like some far out of reach thing that has to be like this big scary thing because it's not and you do have to you know focus your attention on on things that feel in alignment with you and forget the rest any advice that does not line up with you that is not in alignment is not something that you should be implementing into your reality and just because someone is a coach or mentor including myself if it is said and it does not resonate with you then it is not something for you to integrate and I say this all the time to my students and um, I feel like that is one of the big takeaways that I had in my coaching experience when I was working with other coaches and mentors is that at the end of the day, it is always up to me and it is always up to what resonates with me. And so if one-on-one -on -one does not resonate with you for whatever reason, you do not have to put yourself in that box and stick with it for any length of time 
ever. You don't have to do that with anything that doesn't resonate with you. And I'm here to say you don't have to do that for your in order to grow a business online and in order to grow a business that uh, really supports you in your mission work. So I hope this video finds you well. If you have any questions or comments about it, please leave it below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And you can also find my Soul Aligned Success Masterclass below this video. And if you hop on that masterclass and it resonates with you, you'll have a special invite to hop on a 60 minute strategy session with me where I help you map out your soul aligned six figure and beyond business blueprint. So I hope this video resonates and I look forward to tuning in with you again very soon. Namaste.